another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching a 100 this is the finale of season four hope you guys have been enjoying it so far if you like to watch today's full episode it is available for free in the link in the description below just click on it put the password in and enjoy speaking about links in the description we have been running our most likely to dislike characters of season four and those results will be shown here in today's intro so if you're not interested in that no dramas we have timestamps in the bottom you can click on that and watch the main video if you're here and you are interested in it and you're not yet voted then no worries obviously it's not going to be shown in today's episode but when we do get to season Season seven and we reviewed the winners you know your vote will actually count because somebody who wins today may actually change when we get to the final results so i can't wait to see now craziness has been happening on the ground hasn't it we had a conclave octavia won she beat luna she beat rowan she beat Ilian. uh she is the true leader the winner instead of taking the bunker for herself and sky crew she decided that everybody's now one clan we are together 100 people from all the clans we're going to survive there together when prime fire hits and we survive for the five years we'll return back to the earth and you know we'll be united as one now the interesting thing is obviously jaha and uh, clark they decide to take matters into their own hands and steal the bunker now, obviously, Bellamy was inside at the time, and he's done everything that he could to actually open it because he didn't want, obviously, Octavia to die on the outside, knowing that she actually won. And to be honest, it's his sister. He's going to do whatever it takes. With the help of Abby, he was successful, and now they've all come back into the bunker. Octavia, with, obviously, Indra by her side, has told them, look, mate, all these clans, they've decided they're 100 people, and you haven't. You're not special. You know, I'm not part of Sky Crew. You think I am, but you're the person that locked me under the floor. You're the one that floated my mother. You was the one that sent me down to the ground to die. I have no loyalty towards you you pick your 100 people the same way as everybody else has and you know we can move forward now jack is obviously complaining saying that you know we've got 400 people and you know they've already unpacked their bags and they've chosen their beds and it's like that's your problem mate you're the one that stole the bunker you're the one that gave them the false hope so it's your choice now to pick who the 100 people are now the thing is he couldn't actually pick they tried to do a raffle didn't they everybody put their names in he's pulling that out of a hat chaos erupted you know Jaha was like, look, if they're not going to listen to us, we're going to make them. We're going to gas them and we'll say we'll destroy the crops. And by doing that, it'll make them obviously give us more people down here. But that didn't actually turn out. You know, Kane actually got to him. He's spoken to him. He got to his heart, played on the strings. He was saying, look, mate, you know, you've managed to find this bunker. You're the one that saved us. You've also saved over a thousand grounders. Don't let that go to waste now. Don't ruin it and start a war inside of here. Do the right thing. And what he actually done is he hit his own people with the gas, used Clark's list, and that deciphered who the hundred people were to survive so interesting the other thing that I, I thought was pretty fascinating to be honest is the fact that clark bellamy murphy and amoria wasn't there when this actually happened because they're on their way to get raven on their way they actually crashed into one of <laughs> one of the grounders mate he was brutal running over he died but then he was all attacked he was trying to steal the suits off them because obviously they believed that that was a way that they could survive. And then, um, you know, Echoes come and shot them all with arrows. And she's like, look, mate, I've saved your life now. I need you to save mine. I heard that there's a bunker on this island. I want to be part of it. I want, to, I want in. So they've accepted it. But the thing is, they've looked at the time and they're not going to go and get Raven and get back in time before Prime Fire hits. So what is their next best solution? That is right. They've gone to Raven. They said, look, mate, we're not going to make it back in time. We're all going to die if we stay here. So instead of staying on the ground, we're going up in space, mate. We're going back to the Ark. There is a water filtration system up there. We have got, you know, like technology for crop supply and all that stuff. Uh, it is survivable. Five years, we could do it. We just need you, Raven, to get us off the ground. So the interesting thing is we've got Raven and obviously Echo, who's here. We've got uh, Murphy and Amora, Bellamy and Clark and Harper and Monte. So that's eight people that we've got here that we've got to get in this rocket send up into space and they've got to survive five years together in that small close-knit community before returning to the ground so hopefully raven can actually do it i'm excited to see obviously how that plays out but before we jump into the episode we are voting for our most likely dislike characters of the season so i'm just going to jump over and do that now before moving into the finale okay so here we are in our most disliked character of season four now i think this one's interesting because it's not like season three because in season three we had three characters yes <laughs> that we could actually have chosen from and i had no problem with any picking them so whether it was pike jaha or ale i agreed that all three of them could easily have taken that crown now this season i think it's a bit different it's a little bit harder i feel like quite a lot of people have been pretty good and um a lot of people have been in high action fast paced situations that has been exciting for me to watch personally you know what i mean like octavia bellamy clark uh if you talk about rowan and even if you think about um echo and luna they've all been part of this big fight haven't they the conclave and that to me was one of the best episodes that we've had on the show you know a couple of finales that we've had um have been really really good as well season two 
like that comes to mind but you know these characters have been really good they brought me a bit of joy now obviously i'm actually going to pick not my disliked character i wouldn't say that was the key correct word even though that's what the poll is i'm going to pick my most disappointing character of the season and you know what it's somebody that i never thought i would actually pick ever uh, but it is going to be jasper and it looks like r.i.p to him as well he's possibly died now ever since um you know maya has gone he's kind of been on a downward trajectory do you know what i mean and he's not actually been massively entertaining to watch and i feel like really brutal in saying that to be honest but if i go on this list and i pick the names out people have been you know more impactful more engaging more action do you know what i mean and just been better and more enjoyable to watch than jasper and you know i understood his whole premise of he was accepting that the world was going and uh, he was going out his own way by chilling relaxing having a good time i was all for that free will good stuff jasper but then when you found out there's a possible solution to survive in this bunker you had no intention of going there you actually wanted to create like a drink that would kill people in a suicide pact and it seems like you know you've possibly died by killing yourself not even prime fire taking you and not even trying to survive now you know that your friends want you to live and it's a solution for you to be there so i understand that you've been depressed since my has gone and um i never really got on your back because of that but in terms of like obviously the season how it's played out in my personal opinion i would say he's been the most disappointing person for me out of this list to see so i'm going to pick him for this one and this is this vote is going to be really interesting to see obviously everybody's opinions on most disliked characters of season four this is me in the future and i'd like to say thank you so much for every single person that's taken part in the poll i've literally just gone in here to click on it to press the results and over 200 and 40 people have taken part in them. I honestly, I cannot believe it, mate. It's like more people have taken part in these polls than the average YouTube video gets. And that is just absolutely mind blowing. I don't know what is going on there. We have had more people here on on these polls than I get watching the channel on an occasional daily basis. And for me, that is absolutely mind blowing. I, I, I can't thank you enough. It's just amazing. Honestly, it's really amazing. It's, it's literally made my day already on this Sunday. So, so, so good, mate. But like I said, you just heard my justification for picking jasper i thought it was ruthless at the time for being honest i was running in high in emotions um and again listening back i do feel like i was pretty harsh in him to be fair but you know if i'm uh giving you the perspective of the patreon votes they had echo as number one jasper is number two and luna is number three so i'm really intrigued to see what's going on here so so let's press results live and see what's going on oh wow and jasper did take it whoa wait. look how good I can't believe how many people have taken part in these votes. Honestly, like I'm not even kidding. Like, look how many people have taken part in this. It's 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 crazy. Like, I can't believe it. Like, literally, I'm so happy. Like, I really, really am. Jasper, forty-one at the top, sixteen percent. Ilian, twenty-nine, and Luna's you know uh 27 votes i mean it's so close chat 26 octavia 25 bellamy 25 raven 23 i can't thank every person enough that, like words don't even describe like how happy i actually currently ra am right now i'm also like feel a little bit better on myself the fact that more people have chose jasper as well um people may have been feeling the same as me not that we dislike his character in terms of if you watch the show and been throughout it it's been really entertaining and i feel like this season there's been lots of entertaining people and he just hasn't been one he just hasn't been one do you know what i mean regardless of how how much we love him that's the cold hard facts you know what i'm saying i could have clark my favorite character of season two I could dislike her in season five you know what i mean you just take it each episode and season as we go so it's no hate on you jasper it's just how we felt this season but like i said me i cannot thank every single person enough for taking part in this I'm, I'm really happy let's go over to the most liked characters i'm buzzing now okay so here is the most liked characters of season four now this is totally different to the last one because this one has been you know somebody that's give us high action been involved in a lot of the storylines been savage you know been involved in everything and you know my vote is going to be no surprise to anybody if you consistently watch the season and you know i'm not going to beat around no bush i'm not going to flick through the names i'm just going to go straight to the winner and that is octavia she's number one on the list right there she's number one in my eyes right now two seasons in the role that she's won it now last season it was my my reasoning for octavia winning is because nobody stepped up that much and smashed it out of the park she was the more consistent one throughout season one fought bellamy sean in my opinion season two fought clark sean season three i thought there was lots of contenders but the person that brought me the most joy and entertainment on a consistent basis was octavia and season four there's no doubt about it mate she is number one right up there taking it clear in my opinion 
my opinion. You can have yours, that's why it's here. I'm interested to see, obviously, everybody's variety. But to me, she stole the show. She stepped up big time. She has kind of taken Lex's position, to be honest, as a, the leader of the clans. Everybody's looking up to her. You know, she's been involved in the conclave which i thought was great even though she didn't do like the high action and she wasn't heavily involved in that she's still willing to put her life on the line i kind of enjoyed the storyline with Ilion as well a little bit to be honest i'm not gonna lie um and i just think she's riding off the back of last season the ending of like killing pike and going into it and she's had like some ups and then her personality in terms of her own self-reflection have had a bit of dips this season and then she rolls back up again and stepped up and do you know what i'm absolutely loving octavia and the character that we're actually going with here we're progressing right forward i think she's improved so much and i i personally think like when you look at charts octavia's gone like that straight up and she's consistently going where if you looked at jasper's he started here and he's gone that way so this totally different. Do you know what I mean? Jasper's ran down the hill. Octavia's running up it, mate, like Kate Bush was saying. So she's getting better and better and better. And yeah, I do admit, yeah, sometimes I do have a little bit of Octavia bias. But I love Indra, me. Everything that she does, I'm always team Indra as well. I know that like she probably would never win my vote because she's not in it much. But I love her character and I love their connection. And I think Octavia's amazing. And that is why she's winning my vote for season four. Okay, so here we are on the most liked characters. And as you've just seen, crazy number of people voted on the dislikes. Jasper still won. The person I picked actually won. And I picked Octavia. Now who's going to actually win? I can't wait. Perspective again. We did have uh, Octavia, Bellamy and Clark, the top three on the Patreon. Wonder if it changes now. Let's go. Clark, Craven and Octavia. So there we go, mate. It has definitely changed. Clark smashing it. 86 volts with Raven, 54 on Octavia, 42 with Murphy. <laughs> Murphy, mate, get that into your head, guys. Murphy has got 27 volts. Now, there was an episode this season where I was saying, do you know what? I felt it was a bit tight that Raven was shouting at him and she was being nasty to him. And everybody in the comments was like, don't you remember? Murphy shot a leg. And I was like, do you know what? I didn't remember. Totally forgot it from being honest. I really, really did forget. But, like, I do like him. He's a character that, like, a lot of people hate, but people kind of love at the same time. He's like Marmite, if you've ever been to the UK and tried it. You either love it or you hate it. That's its, that is its slogan. You love us or you hate us. And I actually love Murphy. I've never actually disliked him. Uh, but this is, this is fantastic, honestly. I said it a second ago, I'll say it again. Doing these polls make the channel so worth it. And having this amount of people take part... My head is fried. Honestly, it really, really is. Like this is the this is the most I've ever seen on the channel, and it's made me. It's just it's made my day. Honestly, it's amazing. The only way it could get any better is if United beat Arsenal, which I don't think is going to happen. But we're living with hope. But here we are, mate. Clark's taking number one. Raven number two. Octavia number three. I have no problem with that. They probably are the three best ones, if I'm being honest. And like we said, mate, we still got the final episode to go, and it's going to be exciting to see everybody's comments and opinions and everything that happens. And then obviously, like the excitement going into the fifth season, amazing. If you do want to start watching the fifth season earlier. It's on my Patreon, mate. Get over there. Get watching it. It's going to be great. But thanks, everybody, for taking part. You guys are absolute legends. I make this so, so worth it for doing so. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, and I'm back here just on the intro just to say, you know, the finale. Let's hope it's an amazing one and everybody enjoys it. And I can't wait for the season five. Like I've banged on a few times here, because I'm so unexpected, the amount of people I've actually taken part in these, I'm so overwhelmed with everybody that's uh, engaging in the channel. And um, I'm really, really happy. And it makes it all worthwhile seeing everybody's comments and everybody on the patreon which is actually getting a lot of love as well if i'm being totally honest as well as a youtube it's just it's so so good honestly it really really is you know you start doing this not many people like watch and engage but then when you see it here and you got over 200 people heads blown what a fantastic day hopefully you guys enjoy the finale if you do please smash like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Raven says we can. We will meet again. I'll be waiting. Under the floor. Technically, it's under the floor, though. What is it all? Look at me like I know what I'm doing. They look at you like that because you saved them. Now you have to leave. You're Prometheus. Stealing fire from the gods and giving it back to the human race. Prometheus got chained to a rock so the eagles could eat his liver. Thanks for ruining my metaphor, Oh. I love you, big brother. I love you, too. Bellamy? Bellamy, can you hear me? But to be honest, the last words that they said was decent. Do they have her? The radio's dead. It's time. 
Twelve hundred people are awaiting your orders. Where to sleep? How to live? I'm not a commander. This is your time. Let me help you. May I, I love it. Hey, stick that in your head, May. Stick it right in the center. This is it. We are all that remains of the human race. We stand together. If we are one crew, then come for now. Also now. Gone. Takes our pre-flight check. Retrieve the oxygen generator from the lighthouse. Turn a cockpit design for two into one that can carry eight, and load the cargo hold with enough food to keep us from starving in space while we wait for the algae to bloom. CO2 scrubbers on a two-person rocket won't support eight of us. We'll have one hour to get into orbit, land in the hangar bay, and fire up the life support. Now we know the many ways we might die today. Yeah, that was good. That bell out to her. Oh, again, mate, another sick intro looking start there. Like, have you ever been in a situation in life where, like, either you're scared of doing something, but you know you're going to do it anyway? Do you know what I mean? So, like, for example, you'll pace up and down and you're like, wait, come on, I'll do it. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them where, like, they, they've got a they listing out, mate, we could die, we could die, we could die, we could die. But it's like, yeah, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's let's get it out there, get it out there, and let's do it. Do you know what I mean? And that's literally what they're, they're in now, that position. Mate, I kind of, I, I do and I don't. I kind of want someone to die on the way up, but I don't. Because I actually like everybody there, to be fair. You know, I do. And I'm always the easy option to hit. And I don't want to be that guy. And I don't want them to die because of that. Because I like Murphy. And I feel like they don't get treated the best. And they're always the first to get pointed at. Do you know what I mean? So, like, if someone dies, hopefully it's a shocking somebody. But if they don't die, I'm sound with it. I'm not expecting anybody to. And also, Octavia, when she's there and she doesn't know how to lead, first of all, so you get someone like Indra by your side, who is a proper sick leader. She actually is. Also, yeah, I'm a firm believer in life, is you fake it, mate. You fake it until you make it. So, for example, if someone offers you a job position, right, and you don't know what you're doing, but if it's way better money and you think that it's better for you, you take it and you fake it. And if it fails, wow, it failed. If it succeeds, you're laughing. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't take, uh, don't, like, don't push away an opportunity that is amazing because you don't know if you're up to it. You find out if you're up to it by actually taking it and either failing or succeeding. And that's what Octavia is. She can't disregard the fact that the position that she's in, she's got to rock with it and she's got to be that leader. Or she's got to fail doing it. But either way, she's got to fake it until she makes it with the help of Indra by her side. What's your problem with me anyway? What did I ever do to you? Besides trying to kill my best friend after he got hit with a spear? Because you awake? <laughs> well, he was making a lot of noise. Eight people alone in space for five years and one of them's John Murphy. <clears throat> As far as it's gonna go, man, you gotta reach in there. I can't reach, my gloves are too big. I'm gonna take off my gloves. So you're gonna what? We're running out of time. Uh, risky business, that well done. Oh, she's never been in space, mate. Her ass is gonna be falling out. Grounders in space. Knocks him off. Survival's a team sport. My mom had a vision of me dying. It's not the same thing. Yeah, they were both EMP'd. And Abby will be fine too. Raven told her how to stop. That's not what I'm Come on, let's run these water numbers again. Please, Bellamy, I need you to hear this. We've been through a lot together, you and I. I didn't like you at first. That's no secret. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't as well, to be fair. But even then, every stupid thing you did, it was to protect your sister. People follow you. You inspire them because of this. But the only way to make sure we survive is to use this too. Time, we're pushing too hard. What's happening? Computer, systems check. Pums, talk to me. I'm not going anywhere. All right. Computer, terminate launch sequence. Oh, do you know what, right? I have got that hyped up that we're going to get them in space. That I don't go in space. Be a little disappointed. Not that, like, I actually really... Like, like up until the, the the very end of last episode, I mean, I didn't really... Not even thought about space. But then thinking about, do you know what, mate? Get them in space. See how they live up there. See how all these live down there in that bunker. Two different sides of, like, uh, you know, stories going on for next season. How sick would that be? And then it might not come. I'd be like, a little bit disappointed. But, again, I firmly believe that none of them would die. It's a show, obviously. One could die here and there, but not all of them. So I will be interested to see how they do possibly survive because down here, you know, you haven't got the food or anything like that. So something's got to give, you know what I mean? Something's got to happen. 
which is exciting to find out. But, you know, I kind of hype myself up, like, be excited to see a Moria and obviously an Echo up in space. That if it doesn't happen, not that, like, I'm full on really fuming, but, like, you know, a little bit of my enjoyment will be zapped there. Do you know what I mean? I think you've solved bigger problems than this before. You know, maybe if I saw the Alley's code eating away my brain, I could figure it out. You can do this. How many times have you saved our asses before you ever even heard of Alley? Too many to count. That's true. <laughs> Ali was on the Ark. I, I was right there, so close to the kill switch, but she got away by transmitting herself to the radio. You do something better than radios. The satellite. You three, back in the cockpit. Finish those restraints. You two, helmets on. You're with me. 48 minutes. Hey, no, 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 no. With your hands, okay? I'll do it. It's too heavy to carry all the way by yourself. On three. Okay, okay, focus on me. Tell me about Harker. Will you love her yet? Yeah. If not, it might be the day. I told her. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy how it changes you, isn't it? Hey, hey, Monty, Monty, Monty. I think you gotta go for the machine. Yeah. I think you have to go for the machine. And then tell them and then run back and get him as a team. Yeah. Mate, you had to do that. That is literally the best way. He's gotta come back here, drop it off, and then go back for him. Once the tablet is connected, the dish will align itself with the arc, and the power up signal will turn on the lights. And that's it. Are there any questions? Murphy, where's Monty? He's in trouble. He had to expose his hands, he passed out. But if we go back now, we can get to him. You can it. Rush, mate. Let's go. It's gonna take you a good 10 minutes to get back from the tower and down to the cockpit. You have to leave that tower with 10 minutes of the clock, or you'll be left behind. You and Amori load the generator. Echo and I will take my suit. Where are they? They'll be fine. Everyone has a job to do. Echo! What are you doing there? What are you doing, Echo? Do you know, right, before we go into this, right, I don't know if she's just putting cream on those burns. <laughs> I don't know. Or the fact that she might be scared, you know what I mean? Like, it looks like she's scared about going into space. I don't blame her, to be honest. I'd be shitting myself. I'm not going to lie, I really would be. The fact that Murphy's left him there and take the whatever it was back, you know, I don't blame him. I think it was a right, wise, smart decision. Let's go to Clark a, min a minute, yeah? She said that she has to make it back with 10 minutes on the clock to start the run. Now, the fact is she's got 25 minutes, it's a mile away. I would say I'm a pretty okay runner in shorts and t-shirts, and I can run a mile in about eight minutes, okay? So if I run there and back, that would be 16 minutes. But I'm not running with a backpack on me. I'm not running with a suit and limited oxygen, and I'm not running in the snow. So if you add all of that up and Clark, she is running on minimal time. She's got to somehow make it there, hook it all up, make sure it's okay, communicate back, and then run all in time. Personally, I'm not going to lie, personally, I do think it's undoable. I don't think that she can do it, not in the conditions that she's in. But it's going to be interesting to see. Maybe there's a vehicle or something when she gets down there. You know what I mean? I won't put it past anyone. They've all got cars. It could be a, mo a snowmobile or something that she could do it. But let's hope it goes well anyway. I got you. Of course, he gets the hog. <laughs> the machine? Yeah, I get this. Back of the lab is where we need to yes that's it that's I it hate you anymore. <laughs> see what i mean 11 so she's wasted nearly 14 minutes to get there oh okay. uh, it's not aligned you gotta be kidding me you can hear me don't wait respect to you clark Oh, man. He's accepting it. Oh, that's one big tower, that, isn't it? That's probably going to take the whole 10 minutes, that. Oh, mate. Clark, do you think she's dying? I don't think she's dying. You know, I'm going to make a bold statement and say, yeah. Do you remember when she was stood there in front of Bellamy after she took her hat off and she was just coughing up that little bit of blood? Yeah, she ended up saying, look, mate, you know, Luna, she had to get sick before she got better. She come in with her people and they was dying and she was as well. But after a couple of days, she was okay. Maybe that's the same with Clark, you know. Maybe all she has to do is find some sort of place to go, which would be wherever that... Uh, where the, the bunker where they are now. Is that what it is? A bunker, the lab? She needs to get it back there. And I don't know how long Prime Fire is going to be striking and staying in the atmosphere, you know, like the fire. 
like once that passes, Clark has a small, slim gym of a chance to actually be able to walk outside in the radiation. It's minimal, it's very minimal, but that's her only play now. If she's going to commit to go up here, she needs to go up there, she needs to hit it, turn that satellite, and then she needs to run. Get those legs moving, Usain Bolt style, through that snow, hopefully survive inside of there, and let's hope that she's right, that because Luna could walk around in the rain, she could, couldn't she? That's how she beat Rowan in that fight. She obviously come in sick and then she adapted. I'm hoping that can happen to Clark because there's no way in believing she's getting to the rocket. That's the only viable solution I can think of. Five minutes, mate. Everybody's strapped in. Echo! Only got an hour worth of oxygen then to get up. You must be scared, man. Wouldn't it be easier just to walk outside? Get out, Bellamy. <laughs> We are about to head to space where we will be tested every minute of every day for the next five years. I still don't trust you. Maybe I never will. But you are strong. Plus, we may need to throw someone overboard to lighten the load. <laughs> One echo. I know you're scared, but how sick could it be to float in space? Mate. Yeah, that's a tough one, that, innit? Just standing, staring at a door, hoping that they come in, and then knowing that you've got to turn around and just leave them. That is some hard stuff. Can we give her another minute? <laughs> that's a car. <can't>. <laughs> you can't, man. Three, two, one. Blast off. To infinity and beyond. Come on. I know that your life's possibly over, but you got to do what you got to do. You're committed now. Get that turned on for them. I'd be crapping it as well. Echo, don't worry, I would be. We should be getting our first look at the ring. The ring is stuck. She didn't get it done. Suiting up. In it, mate. You have got literally no other choice. Just go for it. <laughs> You'd be buzzing, wouldn't you? First time seeing someone floating. Look, I would be as well. No joke. He's well confused. Oh, before they go up there, mate. Have you ever seen Jackie Chan slide down some ladders? That's what she needs to do. <laughs> she needs to go on the outside and just stand there and just slide all the way down that rig and boom, mate. As fast as she can, she needs to get those legs moving and get to that bunker, close the door and hope that the flame or whatever you call it smashes through it and she survives for the next couple of days. I know she's going to have minimal water and food and stuff, but then hopefully she could get it outside. Let's hope that it's gone up here and they can get there in time as well because I think I'm all, I'm all for it. Usually I love a good death and that, but do you know what, right? I'm liking this episode. I actually want them all to survive. I do actually. First time ever, eh? You know, first time for everything. I left her behind, and we all die anyway. Bellamy, look. We got a lot of powers on. She's got some of it. Even if it's half of it, she's done it. Go on, Clark. Get, go on. Oh, look at that run. She smashed that helmet. Oh. Looks pretty cool, that, to be fair. Clark looks like a beast running there. Oh, look at her face, mate. And she's coughing up the blood as well. Kind of looks like how I've seen her. I actually think you're going to survive, Clark. You're going to be the lucky one. Home sweet home. No, 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 we'll use mine. I've got more. Get her home. Quickly. I got her. I got her. Go on, have a pump. Look for a red and black wire. All right, got it. Oh, uh, they've run out. Hey, Monty, Monty. Oh, look, mate, they're, they're, they're all acting really well. They're proper selling it. Oh, it's intense. I can feel it. It's good. Yeah, turn it on. They need the, the air to come on, don't they? That's it. Everybody get there. <laughs> Breathe in that dust. Breathe in that oxygen. <laughs> Yo, they're all alive. That was intense, that. It was good. They done well there. Everybody was selling it really good. That it was proper intense.
we don't. She died in vain. Mate, we've jumped. Are we going to see anything like how they survived? Well, Clark's here. This is Clark. Like, I fully expected you to survive anyway, Clark. So it must have rung true what I said, that you are a night bleeder that can actually go outside after it. Here we go again. It's been 2,199 days since Time Fire. I don't know why I still do this every day. Maybe it's my way of staying sane. It's been safe for you to come down for over a year now. The bunker's gone silent, too. We tried digging them out for a while, but... We? Who's we, mate? I can only see you right now. Rocket sounds like it's been launched. Coming down. Never mind. I see you. Shop the streak, night leader. Oh, look at this little kid, mate. I done vote on you and be a on wow, look at that shit. That can't be belly me, is it? I can't pick it out too far. Oh, prisoner transport. Did you back up the roof? Get it out of sight and load the guns. Alright, actually, that, that's a pretty good ending, that. You know, I didn't expect it, so i got to say, very, very good. It's definitely pulled me in. I can't wait for Season 5, just off the back of just the, how it's finished there with a new character. Did you say like, the little girl was called Maddie? Now, before we just dive into all that crazy chaos and everything that's happened in the episode, because, like, so much did happen, hasn't it? You know what I mean? Let's just get out my little, tiny little bit of moaning, yeah? And I'm not going to be... It's not going to be a hardcore moan. It's just going to say that, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed that we glossed over the six years because... Prime Fire was a big thing, and it killed pretty much every single person. Now, I know that Clark could be able to survive now, because I'm assuming what I said, the fact that she's a night bleeder, as long as she survived the flames and, you know, the first initial hit, she could walk outside and, you know, live in the radiation. So, to me, that makes sense, but I would totally have loved to see the, the aftermath of that. So, for example, like, after the wave hits and she walks outside and she's left on her own, being like the lone survivor i would love to see her try to find food find you know like water you know because it would have been infected with the radiation do you know what i mean like how she got around and got these clothes where's that car why has that not been destroyed you know because of the heat was it because it was inside the ark and it didn't obviously like penetrate it and this is like stuff that i would like to know because i feel like it would be so fascinating to see somebody try to survive pretty much like the apocalypse that's basically it where she's come out and she's on her own and she's got to do everything but i would also like to see how everybody in the ark for example was trying to stay alive how did they preserve themselves you know food and water supplies that had been on minimal uh you know like minimal rations they've been working to try and get a drop ship so they could go back down to the earth do you know what i mean they said that they didn't have any way to get down what they've been doing in terms of the bunker as well how's everybody survived has she been a good leader octavia do you know what's happened have people died in there what's happened to abby did the progression of her you know mental state get any worse this little bit is the negative side of my little moan of like the jumping of the six years i'm not gonna jump in straight in do you know what i mean i'm not gonna go hardcore because all answers could be given to us in season five so we'll leave it open-ended. Let's focus on the great stuff and the interesting things and what's just happened here at the very end. We'll just finish on with the end segment of the fact that Clark has survived and she's not alone. She's got a girl. And like this little girl, well, not little, but this female, yeah, seems to be another night leader. She did call her that when she went into the thing and like it would make sense again. What I going back to what I was saying there, see how Clark like survived after the first hit would be interesting to see her roaming around the earth thinking that she was the only one and then running into this girl. How interesting would that be to physically see that encounter? But obviously they've met each other. Why would you not team up together? And it seems like Clark's kind of like the mum right now. Now every day she's there, she's speaking, she's sending hope up, you know trying to keep herself saying that everybody did survive because she doesn't actually know they made it there, did they? She's seen the rocket go up, but she didn't know if um, the signal sent up because obviously the signal kind of cut off as she was doing it. So she has no no way of knowing they survived. She's just doing it out of hope. And it did look like they was coming back down, but it's not even them, mate. You know, this big, massive, crazy ship says prisoner transport on it. I have no idea who's in there. And then they're going to drop some savage, scary people here down into it. You know what I mean? Like, this is really good, actually didn't expect it i actually had no idea what to expect to be honest but now it's got me very intrigued i think this is the most intrigued i've been going into a next season because obviously i still need to know what's happened in the bunker still want to know what's happened up into the space and i still want to know who these people are 
really good. They, they've ended it the best way possible, keeping me the most engaged I could possibly be. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. What a crazy finale. And hopefully, you know, if you haven't voted for your most likely to dislike characters of the season yet, you can still take part and obviously change those results when we get to the final season and look back at the previous winners. So what a mad episode. We didn't even focus pretty much none of the episode on the bunker and obviously the aftermath of everybody being discarded away and obviously the ones discarded sounds bad that in it taken away and then obviously the ones that obviously was left we did see octavia kind of struggling at the start saying that she's no real true commander do you know what i mean she doesn't really know how to lead the people and we've seen um injured coming and say look mate you know this is your time to shine people are looking at you as a position of strength they need to know like what's where people are going to sleep what people are going to do how we're going to rationalize the food um and people can't do it alone everybody needs to team and i'm your you know i'm here for you i'm your advisor she's given that that little thing that obviously lex had on her head and obviously she's come out now it's like the symbol of the the the, the leader in it and then um she's done a little speech saying that we'll survive together it's decent that was the only thing that we got of them in that place like i was saying i would like to know what's happened to abby now we're six years into the future and if she's okay or if her obviously like health is deteriorated and i would like to know if uh, you know there's been any chaos that's happened inside the bunker do you know what i mean not everybody gets along you're in a small space it's over a thousand people people are gonna butt heads together are people still gonna say you and i do you know what i mean like because throughout the season we've been seeing different people saying this is my clan that's your clan we're doing this we're doing that instead of being united and like that's what octavia wanted she wanted that one clan we are together aren't we and then again another question is we was told that they could be alive back on the earth after five years why are they still locked away over six years do you know what i mean like so that's literally one whole year later than they could come to the earth are they happy down there? Do you know what I mean? Is everything on plane sailing? And they're like, do you know what? We don't have to come back. Radiation's there. It could possibly kill us. It could possibly not. We think it might be safe, but it doesn't really matter when we're sustainable down here. We've got what we need. We've got friends and family. We've got, you know, shelter, food, water. We have no reason to actually go out right now. And maybe that is the approach that they're taking. Now, obviously, these up in space, yeah, their approach might be we want to get down, but we can't. We don't have the resources. We haven't built a ship yet that's going to be able to take us down to Earth. Do you know what I mean? So, again, it's two polar opposites. And I would have liked to see the progression from when it hit to how people have survived. But like I said, I'm very interested in Hook now on who is this is his landing. I think it's really interesting. Didn't expect it, but now I'm full on fascinated. It only takes a couple of seconds. It only takes a minute, girl. Not to fall in love, but to get hooked. And that is literally what I am. I can't wait to find out who it is, what they're going on, how many people are on that ship. How did they survive? Where'd they come from? Where was he living beforehand? And again, now we jumped in six years. Who's to say that uh, Bellamy and Echo are not together? Who's to say that Murphy and Amore have not had a kid? Do you know what I mean? Harper and Mur uh, Monty as well. The anything can happen. You're in a small space. We've seen it, mate. Have you ever watched Big Brother? Day 15 in the Big Brother house. Literally, people say that spending 24 hours a day with somebody is like a lifetime. I.e., someone could say, how have you fell in love after 20 days? It's like, mate, you know, you see your girlfriend free times a week for about three hours after work i've spent yeah 24 hours of my life here right next to this person six years in a row in close proximity that's how we progress and that's how our relationships you know um i get forged and strong and know everything and love uh happens so mate i'm excited to see obviously what's happened on the arc but i'm also intrigued to see what's happened in the bunker and i'm not gonna lie i cannot wait for season five they ended it really good and uh you know they're tough on this. The way the season's ended, uh, I, I was trying to think of my positions of the rankings of like the seasons and how we would do it over the four that we currently had and what positions I would put them. But like this one's ended really well, to be honest. It's, it's kind of like threw me a little bit. Straight off, the, like if I'm going fast action, gun to the head, I would say a 2 1 4 3 as the best seasons. But then I would have to, you know, full on deep dive into it and then think of it a bit more. But that is gun to the head. That's what I would say right now. I would say season two, one, four and three is the rankings. We still got longs to go. And obviously I will open a poll so we can choose for three of them. We can see the three most popular uh, as we progress later on into it. But that is mine right now. I'm excited to see where we go. And honestly, no joke, mate. I cannot wait for season five. If you did enjoy today's episode, please smash like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.